You're preaching to the choir. What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you are new here my name is Ashley and a lot of you may know by now but I did have cancer. I had thyroid cancer and I am now affected by hypothyroidism. Today I'm going to be talking about hyperthyroidism because I don't have it. A lot of you do have it and I think that we all just need to educate ourselves a little bit more. So if this is something that you guys want to see go ahead and stay tuned. Don't forget to check out my playlist titled The Thyroid Archive that is linked down below. Let's just get started. Also, I just want to say there will be no video this Wednesday. I am coming up with a lot of new content and I just need a couple of days to prepare for it. So I hope that you guys are really excited. So firstly, I really, I do apologize if, if this topic comes off a little bit vague. I, like I said, I myself am learning more about this because it does not affect me. But like I did mention, I think that we all need to be a little bit more educated. So if there is something that you guys want to hear more about that I mentioned in this video, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will be sure to make a whole video dedicated to it. Let's begin. So first and foremost, hyperthyroidism is when the thyroid gland produces way too much of the thyroid hormone thyroxine. Thyroxine. I think, please correct me if I'm saying this word wrong. When the thyroid levels are too high, it it causes the body to experience such symptoms as irritability, muscle weakness, difficulty sleeping, a fast or irregular heartbeat, some might confuse this with anxiety, diarrhea, and weight loss. The opposite of hyperthyroidism is hypothyroidism and that's what I experienced so I will be covering that in a whole video next week. Thyrotoxicosis, say that one five times fast, I did that in the last video. Thyrotoxicosis, 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 nope. Thyrotoxicosis is caused by hyperthyroidism and the overactivity of the thyroid gland. Now, some may experience a thyroid storm. I'm going to educate myself way more about that before I even make, you know, any sort of statement about that, but it is a rare complication of hyperthyroidism that can potentially be fatal to some. It only occurs in patients with partially treated or untreated thyrotoxicosis, and these patients can experience a thyroid storm due to surgery, infection, or trauma. Thyrotoxicosis can also occur when taking too much of a, a synthetic thyroid hormone, such as Synthroid, and that is what I take. Now, Graves' disease, on the other hand, is an autoimmune disorder, and it is the cause of between 50 and 80% of the cases of hyperthyroidism. Other causes of Graves' disease are goiters, toxic adenoma, I can never say this word, toxic adenoma, swelling of the thyroid, too much iodine in your diet, but like I said, I will more than likely make a whole entire video about, you know, these different topics. So Graves' disease will probably more than likely, more than likely be one of them. So with hyperthyroidism, the, the whole entire thyroid gland is more than likely overproducing the thyroid hormone. Thyroiditis, also known as inflammation of the thyroid, can also cause hypo hyperthyroidism. Less commonly though, only one nodule on the thyroid is responsible for producing too much of that thyroid hormone, and that is referred to as a hot nodule. Oh my god, every time I open my mouth. Your doctor will more than likely use blood tests to determine the, your T3 or T4 levels. Treatment options will also vary for everybody. But the most common treatment options for hyperthyroidism are antithyroid drugs or thyrostatics, which completely stop the production of thyroid hormones, beta blockers, which can reduce heart palpitations, tremors, and anxiety. A lot of people with hyperthyroidism end up changing up their diet because when you have hyperthyroidism, like I mentioned, your body already does absorb a lot of iodine from the food that you eat. So people often do change up their diet for a low iodine diet. For a low iodine diet, and that is what I had to be on for a week prior to having radioactive iodine ablation therapy. Other treatment options are a full thyroidectomy, or like I had just mentioned, radioiodine, which is radioactive iodine, and it pretty much destroys the function of the hyperactive thyroid gland. The last important thing I want to talk about like, it's nothing serious, but cats and dogs can also um, experience hyperthyroidism. Cats are more likely to be, uh, 
Is it you? Do you have hyperthyroidism? Cats are way more likely to be, um, what's the word? Affected than dogs. So if you guys think that I've missed anything, if you guys want to hear any more about this topic, if you want to hear anything at all related to the thyroid, thyroid cancer, thyroid awareness, anything in that nature, leave a comment down below and I will be sure to make a whole video about it for you. Don't forget, like I mentioned, there will be no video this Wednesday. Stay tuned for maybe Friday's video. We'll see what happens this week. Uh, Saturday for a vlog for sure. And that's all that I have to say for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. If you watched through to the end of this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like me and what I am doing here on YouTube. And I will see you guys in my next video. Sayonara suckers. Don't forget if you have a thyroid condition, get it checked out. Don't let it go unnoticed. I'm serious. Mm -hmm.